There's a new TOS on the market called the KS23M, and today we're going to be diving into the ammo choices about it, how it performs in leg meta versus armor, and more importantly, star rounds, how they behave, do they flash you for too long, and are they OP? Stick around and find out. So we're gonna be testing all four types of ammo here today with Star, Shrap 10, 25, and also Barricade Slugs. We're gonna be doing some a little bit different testing here. We're gonna be doing some flashbang testing near the end for Star. However, let's jump straight into leg meta here today with the two best options, which are gonna be Shrap 10 and 25. Now, respectively, Shrap 10 actually has more damage at 696 compared to Shrap 25 at 624. However, they are both a one shot if all pellets hit. Now we see this in action here with Shrap 10 actually being the higher damage variant. However, it is actually less accurate. We'll get to that in a second. However, when you're up close and personal, if all pellets hit an unarmored area, especially within the same limb, you will always one shot your target regardless, regardless of your choice here. And that really comes down to the fact that the differences between the two is Shrap 25 is actually more accurate with a 20% accuracy increase. So when we do an MOA test here today, we notice that the Shrap 25 has a 20% increase in accuracy, which actually makes a significant difference at around the 25 to 30 meter mark. And this is actually really significant when doing these sort of engagements. However, Shrap 10 has more damage per pellet, which actually is a more important factor when you up CQB. So I do believe that Shrap 10 is the better option up close and personal. However, Shrap 25 at larger distances does have a tighter spread. So this is the decision that you have to make between the two. I would believe that Shrap 25, however, is the better all-round option. Next up is Barricade. Coming at 192 damage with 39 pen, it is a monster. How does it stack up against Karasa? So it should one-tap level 3 armor, and as we go to level 4, we actually got quite lucky there. However, there was a slight chance to stop that with it being around 39 pen. So as we get into the core run VM armor, we'll come back to why it only stopped three rounds. But for now, let's move on to 6B13M, which is made of ultra high weight polyethylene. As always, guys, these videos are made live on my Twitch where I stream five days every single week. The link for that will be featured down below if you have any questions about anything you saw here today. But as we look at the core run here, we notice that its low max durability was completely zero compared to the killer, which is really interesting because the killer even had a still a chance at around 25% chance to stop another bullet, which is where durability and max durability really matters. And you can see that it's a cheap option. However, it's going to let you down. Now, when we look at Gazelle, we actually got incredibly lucky there. There was actually a 90% chance to stop that round there, but the Gazelle actually let it through. Whereas the Tac Tech stopped three and the AAPC, which is one of the better armors for level five here today, we're going to be noticing that it stopped five rounds. And this is actually significant here because this is where materials type starts to matter. However, Gazelle, which has the worst material type being ceramic, didn't really get the opportunity to showcase the blunt damage being brought to it since it let the first one through. But through all the averages that we did here today, we noticed that Barricade went through level three every time. Level four with a one chance to go through him first shot and definitely the second. Level five, two to four and level six, five to six, which shows a lot of reliability in the helmets, which we'll get into now. So as we jump into the helmets, we need to realize that the first helmet we're testing with Barricade will be the BNTI. At level four, this is the most common class of armor for visors and helmets. And you're gonna notice you're gonna have reliability time and time again. However, something like the out in here may let you down. And although you've only got four shots in the gun, you really need to make them count if you're gonna hit them consecutively. And even with the new helmet, the Rice or the Wrist T, we're gonna be noticing that it's gonna be the same thing three shots before the blunt damage is significant enough to kill the person. Now, when we look over at the masker, it's going to actually perform slightly better here because of the low pen of this round. 
and we actually got lucky here and managed to stop all four with the visor being completely zeroed. But I think the interesting thing about Barricade is its MOA is not great either. When we did 100 meter testing up against the wall here, you're going to be noticing I shot the round and then ran up against it and you can see the drop and the MOA is significant. Just have a quick look at the spread between all the rounds when aiming at exactly the same point. For a comparison, this is at 150 meters with AP20, which is a far more accurate slug coming from an MP153, which is an even more accurate shotgun. But when we look at the spread and the drop there, you can see a significant difference there. So this is something that you have to consider when using Barricade. Next up, guys, we're going to be doing some star testing or flashbang, and I thought I'd do a Q&A with this one. The first question is, can you kill someone with the new star rounds? We found out that you cannot do any damage to people with the new star rounds. So this is pretty interesting. The next one is, how long do the star rounds last for? Now this one is really dependent on distance and I know you guys don't really want to listen to this ringing but time and time again with all the testing that we did it really mattered significantly about how close you are. We noticed that when you get up close and personal point blank the flash effect can actually last quite heavily for almost a full 30 seconds. However when you're further away it can be anywhere between 15 to 20 before they gain vision back. But the whole experience actually lasts for almost a full minute and 30 seconds when you are full point blank with the shot. So it really just depends on the distance and how close they are to the barrel when looking and how close they are to the front of the barrel, which we'll get into in a second. The next question is, do glasses actually affect the brightness of the flash? The short answer is no, they don't. We tested this with multiple different types and we found that they did not make a difference. The next one is, do ear protection or contacts or sordens actually stop the ringing effect? And we found out this was actually true. Another little interesting tidbit was that the reload animation makes you actually drop your mag every time you reload until about 20 to 30 seconds within to the flash where you can actually start to gain sight back. Your character won't. The next one is, can you blind people with the side of the barrel? In other words, poke your barrel around the corner and flash people. And this is true. But you cannot do it beyond 90 degrees, which we'll get into in a second. This is really interesting and you can notice the distance here as well with the brightness of the flash actually being significantly lower when I'm about 15 meters away. And you can see here when I'm actually standing next to him and behind him that I'm actually being con I'm gaining an effect here called contusion. So we're doing a quick drawing here today, guys. The circle is going to be the barrel of the shotgun just to show what's happening here. And there is a 180 degree field of view from the point of the barrel where anyone standing in front of this is going to be heavy flashed. In other words, have the full blinding effect and anything beyond this point for the 180 degrees behind the barrel is going to be contused. In other words, have that effect that I showed earlier where your screen is shaky. Now, I don't believe this is functioning correctly and currently star slugs, uh, star flashbang, sorry, is completely bugged. And I do believe they are a little bit overpowered. I would like to see a change here to have a 45 degree field of view, which is a heavy flash. And then anything beyond that point to 180 degrees of the left and right of the barrel to give a light flash effect. This would be a better option because currently right now it is completely insane. And then anything beyond that point behind the character and onwards to give a contusion or maybe just a ringing effect. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this breakdown of the KS23M and its ammo, make sure to subscribe for future ammo testing and armor breakdowns. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching to the end. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.